How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number four in my programming Leap Motion with Python series. Last video we went over uh, getting data from each individual frame. In this video we're going to go over getting data from each hand inside those frames. Uh, before I start that, I'm not sure how many of you guys are watching to the end of these tutorials, so I'm going to mention it now. Please give these videos a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get a following not only to help more people with programming, because I struggled with some of the stuff when I was learning, but also to help pay my tuition for university. But let's get started now. So last video, here is what we did uh, with our frame data. I'm going to use triple quotes, uh, quotes to comment this out because I don't want there to be a lot of text displayed every frame inside PowerShell. It'd be too hard to read. So to work with each hand, we're going to use a for loop. So for hand in frame dot hands, which is a list of all of the hands in a frame. So now what we're going to do first is we're going to determine whether it's a left hand over the motion sensor or it's your right hand. So create a string, we're going to call it hand type, and we're going to set it equal to left hand if hand dot is underscore left. And then otherwise, so else, then it, it has to be your right hand. Okay. So that's our hand type. Now we're going to print out um, th uh, this as well as a couple other things. And then we're going to get into a little bit more uh, working with hand vectors. But first, we're going to print out this. So print hand type. We're also going to print out the hand ID. So each hand has a unique ID as long as it's held over the motion sensor. Once you remove your mo or hand from the motion sensor and then bring it back over, it'll have a different ID number this time. But as long as it's held over each successive frame, that hand will have the same ID number. But it changes every time you run the program, every time you remove and then re-add your hand. But for this, we're going to add frame that ID or hand that ID. Only thing is, we have to convert this to a string. And then final thing we're going to print out here is the uh, palm position. So palm position. And I will say it is an XYZ coordinate system, but it's not the same as what you would learn in calculus or uh, linear algebra. X coordinate is the left to right. Y is up and down, but Z is depth which is different than what you learn in 3D uh, graphing and calculus. So just remember that. That got me tripped up on one program I was making. And for this, all we're going to do, we're going to have to convert this vector object to a string. So hand.palm underscore position, which is a vector. So I'm going to save this, and let's run what we got so far. I've already navigated to where my full or file is saved. If you haven't, do that. And now let's launch it. So it's going to recognize my left hand over it right now. Now I'm going to switch to my right hand. So it's picking that up. And you'll notice that my right hand had the same ID number, 137. I took it away and then I put it back and now it had a new ID number of 138. Now I'm going to try to have both hands in there so you can see it's alternating between left and right hand with both hands above the motion sensor. Right, enter to exit and let's continue on now. So the next thing we are going to first get the normal vector. The normal vector is uh, the vector that would make a 90 degree angle with your palm so basically the vector from your palm going straight down. Um, actually, maybe, uh, I could probably find it for you. So, I'm just going to search leap motion normal. Yeah, palm normal, so there. Uh, so, hand, 
Uh, this is the Java library, but it will still give you the same picture. Uh, where is it? Uh, palm, palm normal. So that's what I'm talking about. This is your uh, normal vector. And then this one right here is the direction vector. So the direction towards from your palm towards your fingertips. And the direction one is what we're going to go after the normal one. So for the normal vector, we get this by um, going inside the hand and getting palm underscore normal. So that is a value saved inside the hand. Next is another vector, which I just mentioned, the direction one, which we get by going into the hand and getting the direction which returns a vector. Now just like I did in my uh, uh, Elite Motion in Java series, we are going to calculate the pitch, the roll, and the yaw. And because I am not that great at explaining it, I will actually, it's probably in here. It's one of those things where you know what it is, but you don't know how to explain it. So, uh, See if I can find it quickly. Um, so I'm just going to search leap motion pitch. So vector. So here, inside the vector class, you have your pitch, which is uh, being between the negative z-axis and the projection of the vector onto the y-z plane. Roll, not that much more exciting. Roll is the angle between the y-axis and the projection of the vector onto the x-y plane. And then finally, yaw, just as exciting, is the angle between the negative z-axis and the projection of the vector onto the x-z plane. I'm teaching this because it's stuff I need to learn for some of my math courses I took in university, so you might also find it handy. If not, oh well, you're going to learn it anyway. So first, we're going to print out this information. First one is going to be the pitch, and all this is going to be in degrees, just because I like degrees more than radians. So. I'm actually going to put colon there. So the pitch we're going to get by adding the string representation of uh, direction dot pitch times uh, times leap dot radians so rad underscore to underscore deg for degrees so that is how you find the pitch in degrees <laughs> next what we are going to do is the roll so roll and we're gonna get that mainly the same way by printing the string of normal so Direction is for the pitch. Normal is for the roll. So normal dot roll times leap dot rad underscore to underscore deg, and then finally the yaw. So yaw, which is. Uh, gathered from the direction vector. So it's the string of direction dot yaw. And once again, we are going to multiply that by leap dot rad underscore to underscore deg. So just remember, pitch you get from the direction vector, roll from the normal vector, and yaw from the direction vector as well. So save that. And if everything has gone uh, correctly, then this should all run smoothly. 
So I'm going to put my hand over now. All right. You'll notice here I had my right hand over. So the first line is our hand ID, which was the same. Uh, the palm position. And then here we had our pitch, our roll, and our yaw. So that is everything for this video. That is some of the stuff you can do with hand type. You're not limited to that, though. Uh, if I go back here, uh, inside the hand, and if you go to the Python library, there is a lot more you can do. I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I think is more important or more useful, but do your own experimentation and learn about more stuff you can do with Elite Motion. But that's all I got for you guys this time. Next video, we are going to be going over, uh, I guess, the arm. Next one, we're going to go over getting arm data. So I will see you then.